Apples, apples, everywhere you look are apples. Going to be coring, peeling, slicing, dicing, washing. <laughs> Whatever you can do with apples, that's what I'm doing today. And thanks to hubby for my birthday present. It's going to make life easy. A few things you're going to need before you get started. A good cutting surface. A way to peel your apples. You can even core them. Uh, just going to peel them. You need a bowl of filtered water. The lemon juice in there as an acidifier. Uh, that'll keep your apples from turning brown and we'll carry on you're also going to need a large bowl to put your peelings and scraps in especially if you want to make apple cider vinegar or take it out to the compost or feed your chickens or what have you just so you've got a bowl for your apples with acidifier and then you've got a bowl for your scraps you want to be sure to take off any brown spots, any peeling that was left on there, so that your apples are nice and pretty. To give you an idea of where we're at, I peeled one bushel, one half bushel, excuse me, not one bushel, but a half a bushel of apples, and they're in the crock pot. I'm going to peel the other half of um the other type of apples. I've got wine saps and mutsu and I'm going to combine and do half mutsu, half wine sap and I'm going to make apple butter. And we're going to fill this all the way up and let it cook down overnight. Okay, so I have a little over half a bushel of one type of apple left and half a bushel of the other and those are going to be for pie filling applesauce sliced apples those type of things and let me show you what i'm doing right now this is the beginning of my apple butter what i did was peel and core and chop up apples and i put them in the uh, roaster and i started them on low Got them started cooking. I added a little bit of water to keep them from sticking. Got them cooking good to where there was some juice. And then I added some organic cane sugar and uh, <clears throat> some cinnamon, some nutmeg, and a few little pieces of whole clove. And then I sprinkled in just a few red hot candies. So it'll be sweet for mom and them, but it's not too terribly sweet. Um, I did not measure. I just go by taste. I don't want it. Um, some people recommend a cup per so many apples, da, 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 da. but you see, I have seen that these apples are various sizes. So there's no way to really get a true measurement. Apple butter is apple butter. And you just do it how you like. Some people don't like cloves. Some people don't like a bunch of cinnamon. Some people don't like nutmeg or allspice. And we like all those things. So I've added them. And what I'll do is just let this cook down overnight on a low temperature. Now I cranked it up for a little while, but I've cranked it back down. And I'm just gonna let it simmer and soften overnight. And then I'll come back through and uh, you can see that's that's an actual whole clove on that apple, but I'll come back through and I'll mash these up real good with a potato masher so that it's still a little chunky. And then if I decide I want it more pureed, I'll run it through the Ninja tomorrow. But um, apple butter is easy. You just play with it till you get it the way you and your family like it, and then. You jar it up in your clean hot jars with your hot rings and your lids and you water bath can it according to the USDA Food and Nutrition 
preservation guidelines or the ball canning guidelines. So anyway, this is just the start. It's going to darken up and the more cinnamon or the more clove you add, the darker it gets. But it just needs to cook. And these are just wine sap and mutsu apples mixed together. There's more of the mutsu than the wine saps in here. But that's just because that's what I had time to peel. So, just so you're kind of getting a look at it. Now, when I first started, this container was probably up to here with apples. And then, you know, it's cooked down. And it will, and you know, I could peel the rest and throw them all in here and just make one gigantic uh, crock pot of, or roaster oven of apple butter, but I wanna do extra things. And this is the uh, 20, 22 quart roaster oven. So that's a lot of apples and that'll make a good bit of apple butter. And, and you can decide what size jars you like, whether you like the little jelly jars or whether you like the pint jars or what have you. I'm gonna do some of both. I like to give the jelly jar size away at Christmas. And I like to keep the pint jar here for the two patient crew. Nothing better in the winter than apple butter on a hot biscuit for them. They love it. So I'm just gonna put the lid back on here Make sure it's down on a lower temperature and let it go all night long. All right, it's around 5.30 the next morning. I've got the house dark, trying to keep the two patient crew asleep so I can get something done, but I wanted to come check the apple butter. Okay, so I left the heat on real low and just let it stay kind of warm throughout the night. And uh, it's darkening. I'm going to crank that heat up some. Get that good and bubbly. And last night when I was putting my little red hot candies in there, I didn't have very much um, left over from the last time that I made apple butter. So the little uh, curb market is only half a mile from here. So I'm gonna run down there and grab some more Red Hots. So I'm headed out to go get the Red Hots. It's about quarter till six now and I can ease down there and get back here without them even knowing I was gone. Terry just left the house to go to work um, probably 30 minutes ago, so uh, I'm taking this time to enjoy the quiet. It's my 50th birthday, and it's going to be a busy day. It's the day before Thanksgiving, and I was going to spend all day today getting ready for tomorrow because we've got a house full coming in and out, but the doctor's office called yesterday evening, and I have to take Terry's dad in to discuss his lab work. So I know that we're looking at something that's not ideal. Uh, normally they would tell you the results over the phone unless there's a problem. So <clears throat> y'all say a prayer for him. We'll update y'all on that later. But for now, I'm headed out to get the Red Hots. Gonna get them in here. We're gonna get them melted good. And then we're going to jar up our sauce. It's raining. And it's dark outside still. I am not normally ready to be wide open at this time of the morning. I will get up early and just kind of take some time to myself. Because it's either real early in the morning or real late at night. It's about the only time I get to feel like I can breathe. <laughs> if you know what I mean. So, uh, I wanted to show you a couple of things. See my little t-shirt? This is one of my designs. I designed it along with my girl in Arkansas. And uh, I ordered one to see how it would come out. It was from a new company and 
I just wanted to see, um, you know, if it was quality, because it wasn't that expensive. I think it was like $19 or something, and then shipping, and I ordered myself one, and I ordered her one. First order, and they goofed up. They sent me the wrong size for her. They sent me a youth. So I put it up to sell later, and I ordered her another one, so hers should be here soon. They It's, you know, close to Black Friday, so they had the no shipping, and I thought, well, now's a good time to reorder, so I did. And uh, she'll be getting hers soon, maybe as a Christmas present, or maybe just, you know, a happy, who knows. She'll probably see this, and she's going to know who she is, because we did work on this together. <laughs> anyway, so much for surprises, huh? <laughs> So, and then I wanted to show you a book I got, and this is a birthday present from my mom. She always asks, uh, or tells me to order myself something, and she usually wants to spend, you know, fifty, hundred dollars $100, and I just didn't want to do that. So, I ordered, this is the birthday present from mom. I was so excited. The Homesteaders Herbal Companion, and it's by Miss Amy Fuel, and uh, it has got some awesome information in it. So I'm tickled to have this. Happy birthday to me! As y'all can see, it's opening day of deer season too. All the deer hunters are out, <laughs> and they're looking at me like I'm crazy for hunting red hots. Well, y'all. <laughs> I had to buy these little bitty boxes. Check this out. Cute little boxes. They were a quarter a piece. I bought six of them just to make sure I had enough for two batches of apple butter if I decided to make it. I'll freeze them. That's what I did with the ones I had. I just put them in the freezer. Got our red hots and I put them in a bowl so I could kind of watch and see how many I was putting in there. Some people put a lot. And I probably would if this was not for the two patient crew and my mom. She doesn't like a whole lot of spice. But apple butter needs a little kick. So we'll let this melt in good. It's not measured. I'm just going by what I think. And uh, apple butter's easy. We already discussed that. <laughs> Y'all, while I was down there at that store... And I was looking for the Red Hots. Um, I came across something the other night on uh, Big Bear and Robin's live stream. They were talking about candy cigarettes. Y'all, look what I found. I didn't buy any of those things, but uh, I did take the picture of them. I didn't see a price. I saw a price for per carton, like per case of them was like twenty four eighty or something. So I don't know what they're selling them for. But anyway, I thought it was funny because our little rural store still has stuff like that. I mean, we are in the country. So, Southeast Mississippi. We're just going to let that melt, cook down, and then see where we need to go from there. The shirt says, always in prepper mode, Mason Jar Gang. She and I have dubbed ourselves the Mason Jar Gang along with Jen and a few others that like to can. And so I'm working on some different shirt designs that have that little logo, Mason Jar Gang. Hashtag. <laughs> I have my clean jars out, and I've been checking the rims to make sure there was no cracks or anything that would cause my jars not to seal. And then I'm going to fill them with water and add them to my canner that has some water in it that's getting to the boiling point. And I'll let them boil for 10 minutes to sanitize them even further. They they were run through the dishwasher, but they've been sitting, so I'm going to re-lick re that calf is what I like to say, just to be on the safe side. And I'll get my supplies together, and we'll get ready to can the apple butter. It is a water bath can, and 
uh, you'll need to check the guidelines for your altitude and area, but for me, it's 10 minutes under complete boiling water, um, and then let sit for five minutes before removing from the canner. As you can see, my water bath canner holds eight pint jars. I decided just to do pint jars this morning for the sake of time since I have to take uh, my father-in-law to the doctor and I need to get this processed. So instead of trying to do rounds with jelly jars and such, I'm going to go ahead and do these in pint jars and that'll still make great Christmas presents. They'll get a little bit more than what they normally get. As the red hots are melting in, I've now taken to the potato masher and I'm mashing some of these great big chunks of apples up. And uh, we like some chunky applesauce and then we like some smooth. So I'll run some through the Ninja. These were um, pretty good firm apples. So we'll just keep mashing, let it melt, mash, let it melt. It's gonna be good stuff. I can smell it. Smell the cinnamon, smell the clove and all that oh my goodness <laughs> yum yum not keto friendly though so <laughs> none for anna but i don't care i like making it anyway i like smelling it it makes the house smell so good the apples are fully cooked down i've seasoned them with the cinnamon allspice clove nutmeg a touch of pumpkin spice and the red hots and I've got it exactly and sugar uh, organic sugar cane sugar and I've got it exactly the way mom likes it so now I'm just gonna take my immersion blender and uh, get some of these bigger lumps out she said she wanted it a little bit more smooth this time <coughs> Okay, thick, rich apple butter. Still some chunks, but not as chunky as it was. She likes a little bit of chunk. So we're ready to jar it up. Got my supplies over here. My debubbler, my magnetic wand, funnel, lifters, Vinegar sprayed cloth, my vinegar. My rings and lids are hot and my jars are hot. We're ready to fill the jars. I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you the rest. We're gonna be filling our jars to a quarter inch headspace, but when we get a little full or overfilled, you see air bubbles in there. We've got to get those out. So we're going to debubble for a little bit. Jar's hot, so I'm going to move quick on that. And what I'm doing to keep my jars really hot is I'm just taking them out one at a time and filling them at that time. And that way everything stays consistently hot. Now, you see it settled in in there. And I may need to get a spoon and take a little bit out. Nope, we got it. That's a quarter inch head space. We're gonna clean our ring rim really well before we put our lids and rings on. I'm sorry, I keep getting lopsided. But you wanna clean it super good because it does have a sugar content. So it's gonna be a little sticky. And I'm gonna get a lid over here and a ring that I think they were in the way, so I had to move that one. They are hot. Looks like I got two. Yep. Just one second. I got the single lid, and I'm gonna put that ring on finger tight. 
and then set it back in the camera. The magnet and I are tussling. And that keeps it hot while I fill the other jars. As you see, we're just going one at a time. All right, last one. And the canner will be full. It's heating back up to the boil. And we're going to uh, keep it at a rolling boil covered for 10 minutes, processing time for my area. And then I'll just lift the rack and let them sit for five minutes before moving them to the towel. And then they'll just cool overnight. And I still have a good bit left over, so there'll be several more jars to go. And as always, when you use your parchment paper, clean up as a snap. You just take your items, put them in the sink, and fold up your paper. Like your countertop and you're good to go. Start all over again. And this is compostable parchment paper that I get from the Grove. If you're interested in home goods, cleaning supplies that are more natural, you can see my Grove link that is in my about page description. <laughs> Click that link and it'll take you to some free products. And just like that, round two is ready for the canner. So as soon as these have finished their time, rested for five minutes and are put out on the towel, then these will go in. And these jars are still hot, so they're gonna be okay going into that hot water. I'm gonna lay a towel over them to hold the heat in. Out of eight pints, and nine 12 ounce jelly jars this little bit was all that was left over so that'll go into a glass sealed container and put in the refrigerator round one is finished it will just sit overnight and then we'll wipe the jars and label it round two is in the canner So I hope you'll get out there and make some apple butter and enjoy the fall, the winter with some good home canned goods. Thanks for watching.